brothers and sisters, you know, I'm feeling good on the night. Uh, ain't nobody like my God, Pastor Catherine here. We give it honor to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're worshiping in Him and we're praising His holy name. We're giving Him all honors. I don't know about you, but I am so grateful for all that He's done for me, all that He's doing for me and my family, and for you too. Amen. But He has saved somebody's life today somebody's child, somebody's grandchild. He studied the surgeon's hand so that he could operate with precision. Oh God. Oh God, moving mountains in our lives while we sleep and yet we awake. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 3, 1 through 9 from the NIV. And I'm going to condense it. Solomon began to build the temple of the Lord. He paneled the main hall with juniper and covered it with, line, with fine gold. He built the most holy place and overlaid the inside with 600 talents of fine gold. He also overlaid the upper part of gold. 2 Chronicles 3, 1 through 9 from the NIV. Solomon loved God. Hallelujah. His father, David, King David, had given him the plans for the temple, which God would not let King David build before the, his warring hands, shall I say, or lack of innocence. So our theme is serving God with excellence. And I don't know about you, but I strive to serve God with excellence. No matter what happened, that is what I tried to do. I can't say I'm perfect. I tried to serve God with excellence. He deserves that from me. And he deserves that from you. Amen. Solomon Temple was built with incredible precision to exacting standards. The Bible describes the care and attention to detail that marked the building and furnishing of the temple. It defined magnificence and set new standards for excellence. And that's what we must do for our temple. Because do you know, not know that our body is the temple of God? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Gold, silver, and other precious metals were lavished into this temple and its furnishing. Nothing was omitted or overlooked. It simply was the best of everything. And brothers and sisters, you may not see it with your natural eye, but that's what God did. When he formed us in our mother's womb. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are precious to him. A peculiar people. Praise God. From Solomon's example, we learn how important it is that we always give our best. Give God our best. Praise God that we do our best for him in every project we undertake. Yet the truth is that building a magnificent temple did not prevent Solomon from drifting away from God. And you and I know, brothers and sisters, that we have drifted away from God. And he awaits us to return to him. 
You have heard the call. Jesus says, just come. The door is open waiting for you. The Bible says that as Solomon grew old, his wives turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not fully devoted to the Lord, his God, as the heart of David, his father, had been. First Kings 11 and 4. He could look at the temple and count all his riches, but this did not keep his heart pure or right before God. Like Solomon, we too can become focused on possessions and accomplishments. We must remember that our priorities must remain on God, not what we do or our reputation. Not what we do or our reputation. We need to make him first in our lives and keep our hearts right before him. No gold, silver, or achievement can take the place of these simple truths. And this is what President-elect Donald Trump has to go through right now. He's in conflict with his stuff and the presidency. And he's trying to have it all. We must see how this plays out. Amen? In your life, ask God to help you have the right priorities. Focus on him and seek to have a clean heart before him. Oh, Father, I offer my life to you. I want to serve you with the best I have. Help me to help your people fulfill their purpose in you. Search my heart and cleanse me of sin. Help me to keep you first in my life. And thank you in Jesus' name for all that you've done for me, all that you're doing for me, hey, bye. my friends and even my enemies, for all your people. We thank you, Father, for giving us program and creative excellence that we may serve you better. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.